Good morning class 7. Today we will do chapter 8 of your geography book Human Environment Interactions the Tropical and the Subtropical Region. So interaction makes it clear that it is how you are responding to different things. Renuka was excited. Shrikant uncle was home after a gap of nearly 4 months. He was a wildlife photographer and travelled widely. Renuka's interest in wildlife and forests began at an early age when her uncle introduced her to books on nature. Pictures of distant lands and people who lived there always fascinated her. So uh, Renuka who was very excited, he was very happy because after a long time her uncle was at home and uh, whom she was very fond of and because of his inclination or maybe because he, she was in touch with him she also developed lot of liking for the wildlife in these pictures renuka you can see people from different parts of the world some from from dry deserts some from frozen land and some from hot wet rainforest they look so different from me observed renuka they may look different but they share the same basic needs of life food clothing and shelter so she found that they are looking different but then her uncle told her that even though they look different but then the basic requirement of all human being is same that is food clothing and shelter explained Shrikant uncle their children do the same things as you probably do play games quarrel sometimes and then wake up sing dance and help the families with various things that need to be done they live closer to nature and very early in their lives have learned to care for nature. They learn how to catch fish and how to collect material from the forest. So he told them, told her that <coughs> these people they live in touch with, with the nature. In chapter 8, 9 and 10 you will learn about the life of people in different natural regions of the world like in the Amazon basin. Before learning about the Amazon basin, let us uh, look at the map. You can see the map. Please learn how to mark the places like Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Amazon basin, Brazil, Peru, Argentina, all these places you have to mark on the map of Africa. You should have like two or four or five maps with you so that you can practice for your exams also. Okay, the place where a river flows into another body of water is called the river's mouth. This you must have studied in EVS also. Numerous tributaries join the Amazon River to form the Amazon Basin. The river basin drains portions of Brazil, parts of Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia and small part of Venezuela. Name the countries of the basin through which the equator passes. So you can see from where the equator is passing and we can name the countries. Now, when Spanish explorers discovered the Amazon River, they were attacked by a group of local tribes wearing hand gears and grass skirts. These people reminded them of the fierce tribes of women warriors known in ancient Roman Empire as Amazons, hence the name Amazon. So from here they got the name Amazon. Tributaries. These are small rivers that join the main river. The main river along with all its tributaries that drain an area forms a river basin or the catchment area. The Amazon basin is the largest river basin in the world. Climate. As you know, now know the Amazon basin stretches directly on the equator and is characterized by hot and wet climate throughout the year. Both day and night are almost equally hot and humid. The skin feels sticky. It rains almost every day. That too without much warning. The day temperatures are high uh, with very high humidity. At night the temperature goes down but the humidity remains high. So you can relate it in the rearing seasons you feel that it is very sticky and uh, before that it is like you know scorching heat is also there. 
so something similar is the climate there as it uh, rain forests as it rains heavily in this region thick forest grow the forests are in fact so thick that the dense roof created by leaves and branches does not allow the sunlight to reach the ground this is something similar to bay of bengal where we have sundarbans they are also they are also rain forest area the it is uh, the um, trees uh, like you know the canopies are so thick that the sunlight doesn't reach the ground the ground remains dark and damp only shade tolerant vegetation may grow here orchids bromeliads grow as plant parasites the rain forest is rich in fauna birds such as toucans hummingbirds birds of paradise with their brilliantly colored plumage oversized bills for eating make them different from birds we commonly see in india these birds also make loud sounds in the forest animals like monkeys sloth and ant eating tapirs are found here various species of reptiles and snakes also thrive in these jungles crocodiles snakes pythons abound anaconda and boa constrictors are some of the species besides the basin is home to thousands of species of insects several species of fishes include the flesh eating piranha which is also found in the river this basin is thus extraordinarily rich in variety of life found here so you can see that how much diversity is there and piranha is something the name of the fish whom you must have seen in the television and there are several movies made on these uh, animals like the anaconda and piranha bromeliads are special plants that store water in their leaves animals like frogs use these pockets of water for laying their eggs so how interesting you can say that the nature is that these everything is being utilized and that water which is there in the leaves that is used by the frogs for laying eggs some tv channels broadcast documentaries on wildlife of the world try to watch some of the films and share your experience with the class so that we can do when we meet people of the rain forest people grow most of their food in small areas after clearing some trees in the forest while men hunt and fish along the river women take care of the crops they mainly grow tapioca pineapple and sweet potato as hunting and fishing are uncertain it is the women who keep their families alive by feeding them the vegetables they grow they practice slash and burn agriculture their staple food is manioc also known as cassava that grows under the ground like potato they also eat queen ants and egg sacs cash crops like coffee maize and cocoa are also grown the rainforests provide a lot of wood for the houses some families live in thatched houses shaped like beehives there are other large apartment like houses called malako sorry meloka with a steep slanting roof so they in these houses they have slanting roofs otherwise they live in the houses which look like the beehives they people living here they eat ants also life of the people of amazon basin is slowly changing in the older days the heart of the forest could be reached only by navigating the river in 1970 the trans amazon highway made all parts of the rainforest accessible aircrafts and helicopters are also used for reaching various places the indigenous population was pushed out from the area and forced to settle in new areas where they continued to practice their distinctive way of farming indigenous is something which belongs to that place like um, like you know it can be the fruit here they are talking about the people who were living there the developmental activity are leading to gradual destruction of the biologically diverse rainforest it is estimated that a large area of the rainforest has been disappearing annually in the amazon basin you can see that this destruction this destruction of forest has much wider implication 
the top soil is washed away as the rainfall and the lush forest turns into a barren landscape so because too much of destruction is taking place i mean you know people are developing are like cutting the place the trees the forest for living so what happens the repercussion is that in the rain the top soil is moved and uh, so it become the like green forest turns into a barren landscape now what do you understand by slash and burn it is a way of cultivating land where farmers clear a piece of land by slashing or cutting down trees and bushes these are then burnt which realizes the nutrients into the soil now crop are grown in this cleared field for a few years after repeatedly using the patch of land the soil loses its nutrient so it is abandoned then they clear another plot of land to plant in the meantime young trees grow in the old field in this way soil fertility is restored people can then return to it and start cultivating it again so what they do is they cut down the tree and that is for the tree uh, that part is burnt there and uh, so that the nutrients can move, move into the soil again and after like you know planting there once they move from one place to another and there also they cut down the tree in the meanwhile the old place the trees the small plants they grow up so that the soil can retrieve its nutrient and then again after some time people can may come back life in the ganga brahmaputra basin the tributaries of rivers ganga and brahmaputra together form the ganga brahmaputra basin in the indian subcontinent the basin lies in the subtropical region that is situated between 10 degree north to 30 degree north latitudes the tributaries of the river ganga like the ghagra the sun the chambal the gandak the kosi and the tributaries of brahmaputra drains it look at the atlas and find names of some tributaries of the river the plains of the ganga and brahmaputra the mountain and the foothills of the himalayas and the sundarban delta are the main features of this basin oxbow lakes dot the plain area the area is dominated by monsoon climate the monsoon brings rain from mid june to mid september the summers are hot and the winters cool look at the map of india find out the states in which the ganga brahmaputra basin lies the river brahmaputra is known by different names by in different places find the other names of the river now population density it means the number of person that live in one square kilometer of area example the population density of uttarakhand is 189 while density of west bengal is 1029 and that of bihar is 1102 wheat maize the basin area had varied topography the environment plays a dominant role in the distribution of the population the mountain areas with steep slopes have inhospitable terrain therefore less number of people live in the mountain areas provided provides the most suitable land for human habitation the soil is fertile agriculture is the main occupation of the people where flat land is available to grow crop the density of population of the plain is very high the main crop is paddy since cultivation of paddy requires sufficient water it is grown in the areas where the amount of rainfall is high because the reason is a paddy requires lot of water wheat maize sorghum gram and millets are the other crops that are grown cash crops like sugarcane and jute are also grown banana plantations are seen in some areas of the plain in west bengal and assam tea is grown in plantation silk is produced through the cultivation of silk worm in parts of bihar and assam in the mountains and hills where the slopes are gentle crops are grown on terrace the vegetation cover of the area varies according to the type of landforms in ganga and brahmaputra plain tropical deciduous trees grow along with teak sal and people thick bamboo groves are common in brahmaputra plain the delta area is covered with 
Mangu forest in parts of Uttarakhand, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh. Coniferous trees like pine, deodar and fir can be seen because the climate is cool and the slopes are steep. There is a variety of wildlife in the basin. Elephants, tiger, deer and monkey are common. The one-horned rhinoceros is found in the Brahmaputra plain. In the delta area, Bengal tiger, crocodiles and alligator are found. Aquatic life abounds in the fresh river water, the lakes and the Bay of Bengal Sea. The most popular varieties of the fish are Rohu, Katla and Hilsa. Fish and rice is the staple diet of people living in this area. With this, we will stop here and we will continue the chapter in the next video. Thank you class. Take care of yourselves.